I do it with different things like this really shitty old roller and my sneakers and uh because it's random and I like the texture I mean it's too wet right now to um keep its position which would be a thrill for me uh <laughs> This driveway eventually will be some kind of a giant Pollock. I do so many paintings out here. So anyway, this is the beginning of this colossal mess. Um, I'll probably add some sand and some shit to it to make it, uh, I'm so vulgar, to, um, I don't know, give it texture and fatten it up. Also, this, um, all my methods, I don't know what it's going to be, so doing this gives it shapes, like the clouds have a shape that's random, and you can see dinosaurs and cats and all, cows, all kinds of shit in it. There I go, being vulgar again. Uh, let's, uh, I'll mix this in a little bit because I do want it to be brown, the light brown. The paint I used was just um, some kind of house, latex house paint or something, probably. Um, I get some of this stuff cheap. At Home Depot, you see the, the $6 bin, because nobody wanted the paint. That's, you know, save a buck. I want to get rid of some of the big rocks, even though it could be cool. I just don't know how well they'll stay on the canvas. But if I have a problem with that, I always I'll put some kind of crazy glue and paint over the glue. If you use Gorilla Glue, um, it always puffs up when you do it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty textural now. <laughs> it always puffs up when you do it, so it gives you different, different shapes and bubbles. A little more dirt. Give it a very industrial look. There was a painting I did. I don't even remember what I called it anymore, but it was kind of godlike. Big. I did it on the driveway like this, so I'm trying to recreate that industrial feeling that I got with that painting. Um, because I don't remember exactly how I did it. I finished that one in my studio was from that. But I started it in the driveway. And it has a blue and black and gray and just really cool texture. Like you take pictures of manhole covers or um, old broken windows at buildings with, with bars on them. Shit, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so this is quite. Um, oh, I'll show you a little bit of this. So I don't know how good the focus is or how good the light is right now, but this is what's going on. And here's the artist's view. <laughs> Just moving the dirt around, keeping the texture, kicking out whatever rocks might um, be a little too big. But for me, my painting's um, texture is so much of what it is. So I kicked off a bunch of the rocks that didn't stick. Um, and shook it all off. And I don't really, I mean, I love the texture. I love the bumps and um, it's pretty thick. So, but I want to have a little bit more to choose from for shapes. I think this, right now I'm thinking of making this a figurative painting with uh, maybe anywhere from one to a hundred faces or whatever I see in it. But I do would like it to be um, abstract figurative, I think. So 
I've dumped some latex glossy black paint in here and I'm going to take the roller <laughs> that we that I used last time that I never clean that's just ooh it's still wet um, it's just all bumpy and it'll give it <laughs> with all the bumps on the painting already and the jaggedness of the um, roller it will make it um Oh wow, more splattery than I wanted, but that's all right. It'll just give it more of a contrast. So that I can see shapes like you know clouds have shadows and I use the example of clouds a lot of this, like the Rorschach test, ink block test where um, <laughs> psychologists, psychiatrists, what do you see? Um, I actually kind of like this just how it is. It, it always happens when I do an abstract figure. I like the surface, the abstract surface a lot, and once in a while I just keep the painting just how that was, because I like it so much. Um, but I don't think, I think this time I have to um, use my resolve and stick to making it more than just an abstract. Unless somebody sees this and says, I want it like that. Then, yeah, you can have it. And I'll start another one. If I can do it again, it won't be exactly the same. But... Ugh. Really digging it myself. Um, no new ideas yet. Because I want to keep going over it and try to get rid of it. Make it even. Try to get rid of some of the splattery look. And I also really don't like blotches, which I have a few of. I have one here, here, here. Don't really like the blotches, but they can be covered over with whatever paint I decide. I'll cover it over. Um, mainly with something like this, I want to achieve balance. The first stroke I did, you can see it's really a splattery type thing, and um, I'm not crazy about that, but I'm sure that will be eliminated. And I'll try a little bit of footwork on this one, see what see what it does. Not too much because of all the, the bumps and stuff, but I might get rid of some of the splatter look. I think I'm going to cross that on the splatter so it's so one-sided kind of eliminates it a little and besides I like to make grids more than lines a lot of my videos have got grids squares warp squares unwarped squares but once again this is just the base of a painting it definitely needs since I made some so many blotches I have to uh, I have to balance the blotches a little bit now. as much as I don't like them. I like to have in my own mind what looks to be a balanced painting. And that'll give it more of the blotches that I wanted to avoid, but once again can cover up with whatever I want. Um, I don't have much time today, but this is where I wanted to start. And, uh, yeah, I don't know when I'll get back to it. I might go over this with red. I could do it now, but it would, it would be pretty cool. Really industrial, because it would be the mix of red and black. And, and ugly red. But I think I might want to see what a brighter red will do over the black with the same roller. I don't know, it might change by the time. Uh, I get back to this. 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Just kind of, um, I'm pretty psyched with the exception of this one little streak that I first put down. Not much I can do. Ooh, what I could do is get some of that brown paint. I don't know. I'm a little scared about this one. Let's see. Let's let's just dunk a there's not much of this brown paint left and I don't really care much about it. I'm just gonna see if I roll over a little bit in the brown. Nah, that would be a lot of work. Don't wanna do that. Uh, and this is where Steve, you're going too far. <laughs> You wrecked it, but of course this could be anywhere up to could be our seven layers. So far it's two, three if you want to count the dirt. Um, I'll scrape it up some more too, like so that all this comes together. I don't know. It'll be um, it'll be a rough textured painting no matter what it ends up being. Um, all right, catch you next time. So here's the plan today. I was out here having coffee with Carter, my son, in the morning. And um, we looked at this and I discuss a lot of music and art stuff with Carter. He has great um, insight, I think. And I was talking about putting some red over the top of this very lightly, just so it hits the top of the rocks and the dirt where the, it's thick. Um, and with a you know, crappy roll like this. I don't even know how well this will come out in the sunlight or whatnot, but it just leaves little dots of red. I'm gonna go get my pan. So this is the same kind of paint. It's red latex gloss. And uh, I don't want any spots on this. I just want, I mean, you know, big blotches or any spray. I just want it to be like, what happens when you roll over the surface. I've done this on other artworks with, um, that had a little, uh, just, you know, even just paint thickness texture with a piece of paper, covering a piece of paper with, um, oops, there goes a rock. <laughs> covering a piece of paper with paint and putting it over the existing layers that I had done. And, um, just to, to cover the top. I've done it to create the foamy water effect on the ocean. I have the water and I'll do it all in different blues and things like that, but to put the wave part on, since I keep the paint nice and thick, I'll just put a piece of white paper, uh, painted white paper, <laughs> white paper that's painted white, so that it, um, can't even think because um, I'm rolling um, and then just top it onto the water and um, it gives it all the crests of the waves that's you know same process as what I'm going to give for different reasons this one has no reason no real rhyme or reason except they like the thought of it and as I look at it today too I was thinking I'd like to put some different shades of brown in here whatever it becomes, whether it's figurative or just an abstract. And, uh, um, just get, just thicken it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm videoing. What's going on? Oh, um, I need to, uh, take my car to Whitney's, and I, and he says I have to, uh, leave it there and come back, so will you... I will, I'll do that in just a couple minutes. I have to go to work. Drive me home. Oh.
Yeah, I'll do it. I'll, we'll do it in just a minute. Let me just finish this. Okay, video people, I'm just going to finish. This is pretty much all I wanted to do today. Just get a little bit of this red in an even way. I might put more on later. I might be another color, too. I don't know. But, um, one little spot I want to get. Uh, I might be a couple more spots. Let's see. Oh, I think I like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take Carter to the mechanic and then head off to uh, work and find some more time to do this soon. Luckily, I've been able to do it the last three days for at least 15 minutes. So, have a great day, I hope, or night, whenever you're watching this.